Hi, my name is Peter Vogel, and this lesson is an introductory guitar lesson that will teach you a few basic concepts and ideas about guitar that will hopefully change the way you practice and think about guitar. There are just a few ideas that I've, I've used with my students that have helped them learn at a much faster pace and just help them think a little bit more concisely about what they're doing. Let's get started. Do you really know what's going on when you place your fingers on the neck of a guitar? When you press down a string, do you think you're trying to press it down all the way to the wood? Well, in reality, you're not. You're only trying to press down the string enough to press it against the fret in front of this finger. This has considerably shorter distance to press the string. Trying to press down all the way to the wood means you're pressing too hard, a common problem among guitar players. This will slow you down, fatigue your fingers, and possibly cut down on the sustain of the guitar. So remember, don't try to press the string all the way to the wood, only to the fret that's in front of it. So now let's talk about where to place the finger in the fret, or a concept called back fretting. If you're trying to press the string down until it rests against the fret in front of it, it makes sense to get to the front of this fret rather than the back of this fret. If you get to the back of the fret, you're going to have to press down much harder, work much harder to get a clearer tone. You want to play pretty much to the front of the fret whenever possible. Back fretting also increases buzzes on the guitar. If you get way towards the back, you're likely to get this sort of a sound, where the same amount of pressure towards the front gives you this sound. So remember, whenever possible, play towards the front of the frets. Don't back fret. Let's now talk about thumb placement. It's surprising to me how many problems can be cured by good thumb placement on the back of a guitar neck. I, I'm constantly amazed by fixing this, how many little problems can be solved. The best place for your thumb is typically around halfway or even lower on the guitar neck. This isn't going to be a rule that you follow all the time, but 90% of the time, good thumb placement is going to be low on the guitar neck, not up here like this. You're not trying to hold on to the neck. You're placing the thumb on the neck so it can slide up and down if it needs to, and this way. Try this experiment with me. Place your thumb really high on the neck, like I said just not to a little while ago. Then I want you to place your first finger on the fourth fret, sixth string. Thumbs really high, first fingers up on the sixth string. Now I want you to try to expand your hand, and you'll find you cannot stretch out with your pinky. It can't go very far. Now go ahead and lower that thumb to where we said, about halfway down the guitar neck, and now try to expand your hand, and you'll find your pinky can stretch out much further. Now to further be able to stretch, I want you to take your thumb and place it behind the center of the hand more towards the second or third finger and now stretch both directions back with your index and forward with your pinky and you'll find you can stretch even further. So thumb placement is unbelievably important playing guitar. It allows you to reach when you need to and play in good position. Low thumb placement also allows more finger to be in front of the guitar. In other words, what I don't want his fingers behind the neck like this. I want the fingers out in front of the neck. I don't want them below the neck down here too much, and I don't want them under the neck, but out in front. And one of the things I look for is a good gap between the hand and the guitar neck. This is what I'm looking for, this gap right here. Let's talk briefly about how to hold a pick with your right hand. With your right hand, I want you to get used to holding your pick, your flat pick, with only your thumb and your index finger, no other fingers involved. We may want to use those fingers later for finger picking. So we want to get used to holding onto this pick with just the thumb and the index finger. And when we strum, we want to strum on a parallel plane with the guitar strings, not pressing in towards the guitar. So we hit the guitar but on a parallel plane, up and down. I'm keeping the pick 
perpendicular to the strings pretty much with just a little bit of a slight lean going downwards and a slight lean going upwards. When we strum with a downstroke, it's considered an accent. When we strum with an upstroke, it's unaccented. So we don't worry about hitting all the strings with an upstroke. We just might hit a few strings. Well, these are some concepts I think will help you practice and play better. My name is Peter Vogel. I hope you had fun and learned some new tricks, new ideas, and I'll see you again soon.